of my life. That's why when I'm away from church, I go to church. That's when I'm in other places, I listen to preaching because I need it. When the preacher preaches, I say, yeah, I needed that. Thank you. We need it. Because I don't, do not want to hear, cannot. I'll never forget hearing Dr. Hodge preach a message, and I've never forgotten the illustration because it burns so, 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 so much onto my heart and into my mind. Brother Wheeler, I, I think you might have been there when he preached this message. He's probably heard it. Brother Doc Hodge has preached it a few times, but he uses this illustration talking about being a disciple, and here's what he says. He says, Here, here's, here's the picture I want you to get in your mind. He says, you've just heard some powerful preaching, and you say, I want to give in, give over, and give up all for the Lord. I'm going to go forward at the invitation. I'm going to hit an old-fashioned altar, and I'm going to say, yes, Lord, here am I. I'm going to lay myself on the altar of sacrifice. All right, I'm saved, but I just want to serve. Man, I'm going to get in. Uh, as Doc Hodge would say, all hog and a biscuit. He says, and you fall on the altar. He goes, but just imagine that Jesus is the one that preached the message. And here's Jesus, and he is standing up here. And he, ha he sees you come forward. And he sees that you're down there praying and, and doing business with him. And, and, and he sees your sincerity, and he sees your heart, and he sees what's going on. And the preacher doesn't, but God does, and Jesus does. And if he were preaching the message, he would know exactly what's going on. And here's what he does. He say, Jesus would begin to move through that crowd multitudes would be there at the at the altar praying and Jesus would begin to come over and he would just bend over and here would be you praying and he would tap you on the shoulder and you would look up and there you'd be looking to the face of Jesus you would think oh boy this is going to get really good right now and he would say to you you sir can get up and go back to your seat huh you can go back to your seat you cannot be my disciple what you're not ready. You're not giving me all. You haven't given me first place. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, Jesus. You can go back to your seat, too. Brother Raby, I'm thinking there'd be a pretty small crowd by the time Jesus was done. See, we say a lot of things, but remember, he knows. Let it never be said, you cannot be my disciple. Every head bowed and every eye closed, please, this morning. We've covered a lot of ground.